Meta Verified, is it worth signing up for? Okay. Um, because I've signed up for both uh, Meta, Meta Verified for my Instagram and, and Meta Verified for my Facebook profile. S sadly, there's no Meta Verified for Facebook business pages at this time. So, but if there were, I would probably sign up for that instead of Meta Verified for my Facebook profile. Cause I think, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not cheap. I mean, it's not expensive. It's not cheap. It's like, what is it these days? 15, $16 a month, 15 to $16 a month, something like that. It's under $20 a month. It's between 15 and 20. It's between 10 and $20 a month per account. So I'm paying essentially something like 30 bucks a month for my Instagram verified and my, my Facebook verified. Well, so is it worth it? Um, here's what I'll say about that. It's worth it probably if you are prone to being hacked and you think you need some extra insurance to in case you get hacked and you need to recover your account. Uh, now, by let me just say this. It's I'm not 100 percent sure that it'll it'll get you recovering your account faster, but I think you'll probably have an easier time recovering your account since you've been paying them. Um, that you know, supposedly you 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 get you get more personal human support um, by by paying them. Uh, I haven't had to use it, but that's what you're supposed. That's one of the things you get. Um, but what most people are curious about is, oh, does it help you get visibility? And this is a tricky question, but because essentially no. Paying for Meta, Meta Verified does not get your posts more visibility in terms of the algorithm. The algorithm doesn't somehow go, hey, you're verified. We're going to show your post to more people versus the non-verified people. It doesn't work like that. But what does work is the fact that because you have a blue check mark next to your name, when you post stuff, people are scrolling through the feed. They see someone with a blue check mark. It just creates a visual cue that this person must be more important. This person must be more credible. And so it might slow down some people from scrolling past your post because they see the blue check mark. And if they if that happens, then the algorithm will then respond in turn and go, hey, more people are slowing down and stopping at this person's post, maybe clicking like or whatever. This post must be important. So therefore, the algorithm may distribute such posts to more people, not because of the blue check mark, but because human beings are slowing down and looking at it with, with more credibility. So have I noticed that it has increased? No. Um, I mean, again, I mean, I didn't measure the before and after effect. I didn't do a scientific study. And so, but my intuition, my gut sense is no, it, I, my, my, my reach hasn't changed. What, what seems to have changed a little bit more though, is my comments on other people's posts seem to getting to be getting a little bit more traction because when you when you add a comment and you're verified, your comment also has a blue check mark next to it. So people are scrolling through the comments and they see a bunch of comments and one person has a blue check mark. Well, of course they're probably going to pay us a little bit more attention. Obviously, your comment has to be good. But so in other words, all things considered, all things equalized. The person with a blue check mark is going to get more visibility on their comments because human beings are curious what that is. And oh, more credible person. But essentially, every time I see a blue check mark next to someone's name, I know, okay, they're basically paying 15 bucks a month. They have they either have enough money to do so, or they're not good with their money and they shouldn't be spending that money and they're doing it anyway. So, but honestly, the reason why I do it is because I'm vain. No, I mean, that's maybe, maybe, maybe that's why I do it. No, but the, but the reason I do it is because I'm concerned if I ever need to recover my accounts, it's such a central part of my business. Of course, I would be losing a lot of business if my account went away, whether my Instagram account or my Facebook account. But that's not true for a lot of people. A lot of people, you're like, ah, if my, if my social media goes away, whatever. You know, it's not that big of a deal that I'd be willing to pay the insurance. So I look at it as insurance. 
It's an insurance cost that cost me 15 to $20 a month per account. I have Instagram account. I have Facebook profile account. Anyway, so I hope this is helpful. I really do look forward to seeing if anybody else wants to say anything about whether MetaFerified has actually been helpful for them in whatever way. Please comment below. We would love to, that'd be helpful for everyone who's watching this. Thanks.